Hello, and welcome back to Forge by Geeks, playing Kingdom Death Monster, People of the Skull. Um, so we've been building up to this one for a little while, but, uh, oh, as always, thank you to our patrons on Patreon. I try to remember to do that. Mm -hmm. uh, it's just a... Stuff coming down the pipe on there. Um, uh, yeah. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> we should uh, get a priority target token. Oh yes, that's useful to track where we're going. Yes. Here you so go. So we are a trailblazer. So. Yeah. So we have a trailblazer, but uh, yeah, this has been uh, one of our uh, one of the things we've been planning for a long time with this campaign. Yeah. We needed to get to the point where we fought the Dung Beetle Knight because ultimately we are people of the skull, which means we're naked. Um. Oh, <laughs> we tied. I got it. So it looks like Halifla will be getting the monster controller, which we need one. Ah, that. Um, if we want yeah. to be, <laughs> yeah, quite literally, Gamer Darius. Yeah, we're still enjoying uh, Kingdom Death Monster more. I'm really though looking forward to getting more expansions at this point. Mm -hmm. um, we've been through a lot of the content. I think if we complete this campaign before more expansions, we might go after People of the Sun again because we totally fuck that one up. Yeah, well, that one was really hard. Yeah, but that we would study up a bit more and go after it. Mm -hmm. But uh, yeah, we knew we needed to fight this Dung Beetle Knight a lot to be successful in People of the Skull. Yeah. You really can't be otherwise. Mm -hmm. So, and we're going to have to fight him like eight times, I think, to get everything. Uh, there was something, Fen put some kind of a post about how you build up to the, uh, to the, uh, what's the special thing you can do the armor? Calcification. Yeah, to get like the fully calcified armors and stuff. It's like eight times to pull it all off. Wow. To get some really amazing armor. So okay. kind of hopeful. Um, I may be misremembering that. So if I am, I'm really sorry. <laughs> it just went up a few days ago and I kind of like lost over it quickly because I was in a hurry. Okay. Okay. So are we good? Yeah. Let's get this party started. Oh boy. Let's start with a fun one. You hear a l sudden rumbling. You hear a low rumbling and suddenly see an enormous ball rolling right towards you. A ball full of shit. Mm -hmm. um, roll 1d10. If the result is equal to or lower than your courage, you stand your ground. So this is Califloss. So let's see how I'm doing on the courage front. Um, <laughs> I don't think I'm going to be standing my ground. Mm -hmm. Nope. I did not stand my ground. So I am diving away. Actually, I like to dive away better. Anyways. So do I. This is the one where you want to dive away. Um, by the way, do we have anybody with three courage? Yeah. Good. Oh, I do too. I'm Kalko. Cool, cool. Good. Uh, roll another d10. Seven. You run around the ball and using the momentum, heft yourself onto it. Gain the propulsion drive fighting art. I have an empty spot, too. Nice. Let me find that bad boy. There it is. Propulsion Drive. At the start of the showdown, gain a Momentum Survivor Status card. Can you pull me one of those? When you, have, when you attack, if you have 5 plus Momentum tokens, remove them all and roll a d10. Gain that amount of luck and strength when attempting to wound the first selected hit location. Nice. Great for uh for critting the fuck out of a guy. Okay, um, let me write that down. So how do I gain momentum? When you travel four more spaces without going through the same space, gain a momentum token. When you uh, successfully tumble, which I won't be doing. Gain a momentum token. When you are knocked down, lose all your momentum tokens. Okay. Next space. And it's time for Goku. With the monster control? Oh, thank you. Okay. Yeah. Practice dummies. You find a training ground of sorts. Roll a d... Oh, shit. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh well let's hope we don't get an at least we didn't give them the plus one strength. 
I'll take this over plus one strength. Mm -hmm. Oh, six. Uh, the marks on the dummies appear to have been made by a crude blade. If you have sword proficiency, gain one level. I technically have sword. Prof we technically everybody has sword proficiency. Because I'm a sword uh, no, master. No, we can gain the benefits of the weapon specialization. I don't think you were proficient in sword. Okay. So I don't have to worry about this. But you gain one understanding. Okay, that works. Oh, shoot. I forgot about something. Mm -hmm. Um, I have Goku is our fist and tooth master. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to get plus two accuracy and strength for this fight. Even though I'm not using fist and tooth. Nice. Um, okay, uh, sorry, just reminded me looking at that. And that's done. So that's we made it through the nastiness. Well. <laughs> All right, so we mineral gather. Alrighty. Or excuse me, not mineral gather, uh, uh, herb gathering. So Armin has the scythe. Yay! Or sickle? Yeah, sickle. <laughs> Same deal. Different day. Close enough. Yep. So I will roll four dice to start. It's funny. I'm actually more scared about the hunts many times than the fight. Yeah. That is a dupe. No. Okay. Points. How many points do we want to get in general? At least 12. Okay. So I will do four. Okay. Oh, dupe tens. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I will do just uh, three for the next one. Okay. A whopping eight. Okay. I will also do three. Okay. A whopping eight. Sixteen. 16. We got it. Getting a fresh acanthus strange resource. Just one? Yes. Okay. All survivors gain plus one survival. Which we were already at max of seven, so here you go. Okay. <laughs> Scythe is for harvesting, harvesting survivors. <laughs> yes, yes it is. Oh, and we also gained a survival just from being on the square. Okay, once so, again, not a big issue. Yeah. And now we do our random hunt event. Uh, does that transfer? Well, I mean, it's technically... Oh, yeah, you're right, so. you're right. Let's hope for, uh, 11. 11. Uh-oh, going snake eyes on us. Going mm -hmm. snake eyes. Better this than intimacy, probably. Fair. Yes. Yes. If you were going to roll lots of ones, right now is probably the better time. Monster droppings. The kind of appropriate. The find some monster droppings, like those of their quarry. The event revealer chooses to either investigate or consume the dropping. <laughs> Choose only one. If the event revealer investigates... Probably the fresh account should Investigates gain plus one understanding and roll 1d10. 30% chance of losing a survival and roll on the event hunt table again. 30% chance of gaining a survival. Uh, and a large chance of, of uh, skipping the next hunt space and if the move begins the showdown ambushing their quarry. Skip the next hunt space would be bad. Yeah, I know. <laughs> uh, if the event revealer consumes, gain plus one courage and roll 1d10. 30% um, chance of permanent evasion. Negative one permanent evasion. That would suck. 30% uh, chance you have a title of Scatman. 40% <laughs> chance Scat of gaining man. a speed and a strength token. Not great, but I would go Courage because we can't really afford to skip. Yeah. Hi, Heroic! Oh. Oh. What? You may skip the next hunt space. Oh, we may. Yeah. Okay, then I would probably do that one. Because yes. that's a little bit safer because I don't like that speed token. So he does gain Understanding, which means he has the uh, Insight event. Okay, that technically happens first. Yeah, I think so. Insight. 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 Hunt phase of epiphany. You dream. Uh, 
Before you toiling silently, a strange creature with the imprint of a human face sculpts stone faces into the ground. You meet its concave gaze and wake. Gain the following ability and roll on the table below. Explore. When you roll on an investigate table, add plus two to your roll result. Meh. I am technically investigating. Oh, you are right now? Yeah. Oh, that's convenient. Still not the greatest benefit, but mm -hmm. we'll take it. Yeah, Tinker is better, but... Mm-hmm. That's the plus endeavor. Yeah. Results. Nine. Gain plus one permanent accuracy. Now that I'm not going to complain about. Armin is fucking ridiculous at this Is point. he a four? Yeah. Damn. Though Cauliflower's a three. <laughs> of this increases the chances. Personally, I like Goku's strength. It's kind of appropriate. Uh oh. One. So you so get a three. Lose a survival and roll again on the hunt table before moving. Damn. Yeah. That was what I was hoping to avoid. Oh well. Forty one. Nightmare. The event revealer oh, dreams of the upcoming hunt. The great beast vanishes during their battle and secretly follows them back to the settlement. They helplessly watch as it devours all they know and love. The event revealer gains plus 1d10 insanity and a negative 1 ev evade token. So 2 insanity, negative 1 evasion? Yes. Okay. Um, if the settlement has a savior... We do not. Oh, I know. Uh, they appear in the dream and defend their home. The event revealer gains 1d5 survival. Blah, 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 Twilight Sword, don't care. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So we move and we start the encounter. Yes. Not the worst hunt no. we've ever had. Oh, no. That would have been eight. <laughs> Wasn't that the People of the Sun? No, that was People of the Stars. It killed all of our survivors, survivors right before... <gasps> like our last oh. effort to try to get a couple more people of the stars before the final thing. We've lost all three that were like yeah. one thing off of being coming people of the stars. Yeah. That was our very first people of the stars campaign. I forgot about that. Yeah. Feet didn't he basically get rid of feet? Uh no. If you are survival of the fittest, it does not work the same way. Ah. There you go. Thank you. Because y'all made it to set up. Um I need the six stone columns. That's all you need. Thank you. Okay, we've got there, there. So we all gain a plus one survival, or excuse me, a plus one um, strength token when we arrive at the showdown because the red fist is with us. Oh, you got red fist out? Yeah. Sweet! And the where's the bug patch? Armin has stone noses. Do we have Burman obsession on anybody? No, not on me. Okay, the ball starts right behind him. Mm-hmm. And the bug spot just behind that. And we will start up front center. Yeah, in the ball pin formation. Yes. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. By the way, I'm just temporarily putting my guys there. There you go. Okay. Um, I feel like there was something else I was supposed to do. Oh. Uh, sword mask. Do you have any mastery cards you need? Uh, I have axe and grand. There you go. Or here, I'll show them to people quick. So we do have a sword master and cauliflower who has the grand. Uh, Armin has grand. And then the other character has axe mastery. Yes. So for our sword master, oh, gain one accuracy, one strength, and one speed. Only when wielding a sword, however. Which is all I have. Yes, just pointing it out because yep. and then you we, got a fist and tooth it. And then we gained another strength. You said. Yes. Though that's a token, and we can spend it as a survival, right? Yes, you can spend any plus one strength tokens that you have as a survival. Of course, that's only one right now, but. Yep. Now, also with uh, Kalifla, when attacking with the sword, after drawing hit locations, make a wound attempt and then select the location to resolve. For your grand weapon, when you perfectly hit, cancel all reactions. Nice. 
Um, and you gain one accuracy. Yep. Did you already add that? Uh, I, I don't put it on that. Uh, if you're critically wound, you the monster is knocked down. Huh? And then our X. Um, when you when you wound a monster at a location with a persistent injury, which there's several that we oh god, that's going to be so nice. Oh god, yes. um, it becomes a critical wound. And uh, if your wound attempt fails, you may ignore it and attempt to wound the selected hit location again. Those two in combo. Oh god, I always forget about that. Mm -hmm. It is awesome. Um, <laughs> my perfection senses are tingling. Oh, one one is off. Which one's off? Oh. <laughs> All right. Is so. that? Oh, no. I see the problem. That's partially covering up the last lane. Yeah, so I had placed them off. Um, pillars with 1.5. There are tactical uses. Is there something we're missing? Oh, we also need the giant stone face. Oh, thank you. I completely missed that you put that out there. And... Where is our friendly neighborhood dung ball? Oh, there we go. Yeah, I don't see the tactical use of the stone columns. I could be wrong. Um, giant stone face is set up at least five spaces away from all board edges. Okay, so he has four traits. Separation anxiety. When the monster is not adjacent to the resin dung ball, it is separated and gains green X. If an AI or hit location card has green X, only apply those actions, locations, actions, effects, or special rules if the monster is separated, otherwise ignore them. Ground pound. The monster slams the ground, precisely altering its network of prepared tunnels. All survivors adjacent to the monster suffer bash. The vibrations create a natural ramp, move the ball 1d10 spaces toward the monster. On collision, any survivors suffer 5 damage to star hit locations. Power forward. If he is separated, do not perform this card. At the start of each monster turn, pick target. Furthest stinky survivor, random survivor, or no target dispense, defensive spit cell, which is his instinct. Turn the face the target and perform baller. Uh, which I haven't revealed yet. Move the ball 2d10 spaces through the target. On collision, any survivor suffers 5 damage to star hit locations. And then move the monster, full move the monster toward the ball. Baller. The monster spins the ball around itself with tremendous force. All survivors in the red zone indicated above suffer collision with the resin dung ball. Archive all destructible terrain in the red zone. Place the resin dung ball in front of the monster. So those are our unhappy times. Yes. Oh. So since the ball is behind him, we're not going to be able to avoid the first power forward. Because um, it's at the start of the monster turn, the ball is right next to him, and we can't get to it. Well, technically... Do we go first? No. Oh. Do we have anybody with eight movement? We have some, yes, we have one person with eight and one person with nine. Okay. With eight movement, you can dash up. And. A chance of moving it, though. Um, that's a. I think that's a really bad place for the stone face. Yeah, uh, I'm trying to figure out where to put it. We just um, want it out of the way, right? Yeah. It has to be five away from all board edges. Okay. So. That's five away. And I'll actually turn it that way. Um, so push the resin dung ball 1d5 spaces uh, directly away from you. If you're not fighting the dung beetle knight, the ball is empty and you may move it up to five spaces. Okay. So what I'm thinking is you can run up, knock it, and then our character, it'll at least go one, and then you can knock it further away. Possibly, yeah. So that's both of my characters. The top is the swarm of bot flies, by the way. Ooh. Or 1d10 and add your courage if the result is greater than plus 5, you both hey, silver. flies and archive this card. 
So uh, we need to reach a 6. So my characters can do that, but of course it's an impervious location, so we're basically losing the opportunity. And note that at least like, like one of my characters is one with a lot of luck and the devastating. Yeah. So we need that character to hopefully, well, actually, um, oh, if you knock it at least one to the side, that'll open up for one of my characters to dash up and, and push it. Okay. So we can definitely do that. Uh, you don't have to start all the way in the back. Oh, right. Yes. Thank you. Yeah, we're in the... I just marked the edges. Uh, we can start in this formation. Okay. Skull for Skullga. <laughs> yes. Okay. We hope. We would like skulls. We Being people of the skulls and all that. It's an amazing concept. Oh, one of the other ones didn't update. The what? one in Dead Man, I am the character, so Armin is up there, but Saitama is not up Oh, the name isn't up. Yeah. Okay, let me fix that quick. There you go. Oh, you know what? I don't think we can actually do this. Oh, we can't do the dash at the start? No, because it's at the start of the monster's turn. I don't think that's an opportunity to spend survival. Damn. Oh, yeah, everything's going great, Toa. Thank you very much. Oh, it's over. Not oh! <laughs> oh, that's horrible, me. Thank you so much for that. No. Okay. Only between flows, between actions on the survivor's turn, before performing reactions after critical wound effects or when a monster is knocked down. Okay. So somebody's going to have to take his first AI card. Yes. With the dung ball. Yes. That's a bad day. Yes. Okay. So that should be either Goku or whoever on your side has the glue Mendy. Probably Goku, honestly. Okay. Um... So I will stick Goku up front. Where do you want to pop your other guys? I, whoever's the devastating, which color is the devastating? Uh, the color, the devastating is the orange. Okay. Or the brown. Okay, so I will move that here so that you're kind of out of the way. Mm -hmm. And then I'll put your other character back there. Does that look good to you? No. Because they're going to send the ball 2D10 spaces through the target. Which would mean that that character would get nailed okay. in the face by the ball. That better. Yeah, that should be good. Okay. All right. It's going to kind of suck. What's the ball going to do to me? Uh, you're going to suffer five damage to one location. There's nothing you can do about it. It's probably going to eat your, uh, your dried acanthus. Yes. We hope it hits the head. That's so funny. It, seriously, I hope it hits the head. If we roll head, I can take it. Yes. Um, the alternative would be that's going to be his whole attack as baller. Mm, we get the AI. Okay. Oh, fun. Well, let's hope Goku does not die from this very quickly. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So we start this with so. Oh wait, it's for the stinky, stinky survivor. So you don't want to be there. Oh, it's going to go furthest? Yeah, furthest stinky survivor is going to be the first. It gets hit with the baller, and then the other character takes the AI attack, most likely. Possibly, yeah. Okay. Um, shit. It's being hit by the ball. There is a little bit yeah. of a difference. Okay, so what I will do is I will slide you over here, and we'll plan to have it hit Kalafla, because then I'll just lose the dry decanthus. Okay. And that at least saves one of our tanks to take regular hits. Yes. Which seems better. Okay. So... Okay, um, so first let's kick this off. Yep. Okay. Uh, so for the stinky survivor, we choose Cauliflow. Yep. Uh, we now have a survival opportunity if we wanted to do anything. Um, so you can dash or surge, or both. But we can't knock the ball. It wouldn't matter knocking the ball right now. Yeah, because he's not separated. Okay. So uh, it doesn't matter uh, for that. Uh, so now turn to face the target, which he's already facing, and perform baller. So he spins the ball around him in these areas. So, yep. And nothing happens. 
So every space within two of him. Yes. Now, okay. move the ball 2d10 spaces through the target. Oh, right, that thing. Yes. Oh, it's you rolling, I think. Cause yeah, the it's coming after me. Was supposed to roll. It was supposed to move. Ah. Where's my other two black dice? I uh, don't know, but... They, like, vanished. Yeah. It's amazing. <laughs> I'm like, where the hell did they go? Ten spaces. All right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I'm good. I'm all good. <laughs> so it didn't hit me. Yeah. Okay. Uh, on collision, any survivor suffers blah, full move the monster towards the ball. So he has a movement of seven. So he's gonna... So then, now, yeah, a card. Alrighty. First up, we have Resin Plated Right. Closest knockdown survivor, closest stinky threat. Goku, just like we planned. Uh, no. Uh, yes. Okay. Um, move and attack. This sucks. Because he performs basic action. Oh, yeah, that sucks. Yeah. Okay. Well, it's his basic at action attack method. Um... It is going to be closest knockdown survivor, closest threat in range, so it's going to be you again, 3, 3 plus 4. Well, no, we might be able to have your, if I get too much damage off of this, have your Glumendi character dash next to him to take the basic action. Okay. Make sense? Yeah. Okay, so 3 speed, I have 5 evasion. That's good. Yes. <laughs> so, accuracy of 8 plus, I like that, I like that a lot, assuming I roll well. One hit. Okay. After damage oh, is... What? shit. We did it wrong. What? The ball would have been in front of him after he finished baller. Oh, so it would have hit my character. Yes. Okay, so that would be five damage to a random hit location. Mm -hmm. And where do I end up? Okay. Random hit location, five damage. Body. And I'll roll on the chart. Or try to camp us, ignore. Yeah. Okay. Sorry about that. No problem. That's an easy fix. Uh, bash means you're not a threat for basic. Yes. Once you've gotten bashed, then you're no longer a threat. Oh, okay, so then but I got... the closest knockdown survivor means that you're, you're, it's yeah. going to go after you. Which we'd rather avoid. Um, what's basic action? What's the stats on it? Is it three? Three, three plus four. Oh, so it's the same as this? Yes. Uh, any after damage? No. Just uh, full move the monster towards the resin dung ball. Okay. Um, I'm going to dodge this uh, hit. Okay. So I dodge that. Um, or can you roll it first and then decide? Yes. Okay, I will roll it first. I will dodge that. If it had been head, I would have just taken it. Okay. Now, do we want to dash up with one of yours to take the basic action since you can still do a dodge? How's your evasion? I have really good evasion. Uh, yes, Saitama is yellow, so Saitama will dash. Okay, where do you want to end up? Do you want to end up behind him or anything? Uh, I guess behind him is fine. Okay, there you go. Uh, actually, how much space, how much movement do I have? One, two, Four. Three. That's six. Shit. Yeah, I can't be as clever as I'd like. What That's were you fine. thinking? Uh, he's going to move to the resin dung ball. So I was trying to see whether or not I could make it all the way to where after it was finished, he would be adjacent to me after he moved to the dung ball, but I didn't take collision from him. Do you have eight? I have eight, but I do not have, oh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And you have reach. No, I don't, don't have reach, so, but I have to be adjacent to him anyways, because otherwise he won't um, attack me. When's he going to move to the dung ball? 
immediately after he completes the thing, I could dash again, but it doesn't matter. Now, if you go there, I can get out of the way. Okay, yes. All okay. right, that would work. <laughs> All right, so please roll the three dice. I have five. Four. You need to change dung beetle location since the ball was moved. Oh, yeah, the dung beetle's in a different spot because the he would have been adjacent to the he was supposed to be adjacent to the thing so uh one two three four five <gasps> six seven so he would have been here instead or actually here we could have been here this is still adjacent so now you can still just run up uh, right there and you're fine yeah okay cool okay, okay great thank you very much mate okay so now he attacks saitama Yes, I and believe that it. is going to be he. I have five evasion. Okay. So that is eight uh, plus. Eight plus. So same as Goku. Yeah. Nice. No hits. Yay! <laughs> I'm rolling good today. Okay. And that's it for his first attack. Yes. Yeah, the dung needs his ball. <laughs> yes, yes, it does. And he's next to the ball right now. Yep. So because we have fist and tooth mastery, you can stand up. Which I want to. Yes. Okay, so now we need to beat the shit out of him. Yeah. Um, I would rather you not hit with your luck character first right now. Okay. Just simply because of uh this um the permanent locations. Okay. Uh, we want, or the axe character specifically, we want you to hit with the axe to do the uh, persistent injuries if they come up to the top. Okay, those are not the same thing. Sorry, that's what I meant. Yes. Um, so we can either hit with your uh, sword or, or your grand weapon, or I can attack. The grand weapon does two wounds if it doesn't hit an impervious location. Is that impervious? Yes. Okay. I will, will that cancel uh, hits? The, the first strike? Yeah. Um, you will be knocked down if you do not roll a six or higher, adding your courage. So I'd need to roll a three or higher. I think that's a, worth a risk. Okay. I will give it a shot with Goku. Okay. So with my speed, I have a four, and I hit on... I'm going to actually move in behind him. Because mm -hmm. accuracy will help here. Um... I hit on... I can do math. Oh, right, I got the two accuracy. Shit. Forgot about that. I hit on a uh, two plus. Okay. Behind him. That's a lot of hits. Oh. No trap. Okay, so let's start with the swarm of bot flies. We are immune to super dense. I will decide the rest of the order after. Okay. Oh, that would have been nice, that filthy wings. Yeah. Okay. So, now with my massive 10 strength, I wound on anything but a 1. Damn. Yes. Um, oh, but first I have to do the swarm of bot flies. Uh -huh. If the result is greater than 6, you boldly ignore this. Otherwise, I suffer 1 brain damage and I'm knocked down. Yes. Okay, that so I need a, the rest of your attack. Yep, so I need a three plus. Got it. Got it. Good. So that goes away. Permanent. Well, yeah, permanently. Oh yeah, that's good. Because it is archived. Very nice. Okay, so now what do I want to hit at next? Um So he is not separated from his balls, so the first thing on iridescent abdomen does not happen. Oh, and then cancel the reaction. Okay. So if I failed, you'd perform basic action target the attacker. Yes. The others are fail. All survivors in its blind spot suffer knockback seven. Ouch. And the same on the next one. Do we have pottery? No. I thought we did. Pottery? Yeah. I think we do. No, we do not have pottery. Damn. If we had pottery, then we'd have gone after a freaking level 2 stream antelope to get the barber surgeon. Oh yeah, good catch. Okay, so that won't help. Um, so critical on that doesn't really do much. The reflex is bad. Okay, so I'll save iridescent back for last. I think I'm going to go and see if I get lucky on the broken wings. So, 2 plus... Take these broken wings! <laughs> 
<laughs> You've been Ever just waiting. <laughs> You've been just waiting. No, for actually, that. I came up with that off the top of my head. So. Sure, you did. <laughs> okay, so two plus to wound. Um, I don't have a shit ton of luck. So, and I did not you're do. Using, a... Are you? You're not using fist and tooth, right? No, I'm not. Okay. So I only crit on a nine or a ten. Okay. Um. Yeah. I'm starting this out strong. Wow. <laughs> well, shit. I don't think there's anything I can do about that. All survivors in blossom spot. Knock back seven. Okay, then. Anything useful on the top? Uh... Reflex to grab and smash them in the ball. Remember, he's next to the ball right now. What's the green thing? Uh, move the monster. Move the ball one plus ten, one d ten spaces toward the monster and cancel the reaction on this hit location. Oh, so and anything good on the crit? Random resource. Okay. Oh. So. So I can easily move back up and attack again. Um. If you want to, um, the other option is that uh, if I attack with the grand weapon, if I perfectly hit him, then I cancel the reaction. And if I crit him, which Armin crits on a four plus, you get the resource. I no, I knock him down. Oh, do that, do that. Yes, so, yes. What, so this is Armin. Uh, yes. Okay. So there is the problem that uh, he will take a collision if he doesn't do that, but he has, I mean, he, we suffer collision with this fucking dung ball all the time, so. Yeah, exactly. Alright, um. Come on. So, running focus. Um, he is going to surge because I am an abyssal sadist, so I will regain the survival ah. if I wound him. But he just did the normal walk up. Yeah, he walks up, and then he surges to attack. Okay. Attacking with the Zambatel, I have um, I have four accuracy, even without the bonus from the freaking uh, <laughs> thing. Oops. So you have a lot of accuracy. Yeah, I hit so, on a two plus. Nice. That's a hit. How to get it is. And what do you wound on? Um, two plus. You have ten strength? I have seven strength currently, and the Zambato gives me six. Oh, wow, and crit. Yeah, so I crit on a four plus. Oh, wow. Yeah. Come on, roll better than I do. <laughs> Seriously. Nice, crit. I crit. Gain a random gun beetle resource. And he's knocked down. Yes, he is knocked down. And, um, yeah. And that cancels the reaction, so no filthy gut. Nice. Well, that cancels all reactions for now. Yeah. Nobody gets a reaction unless we hit the trap. And you deal two we wounds. We get an elytra. Sweet. So, one and two for the devastating. Okay. So the top of this is going to be... The side of resin ball. It is an impervious and super dense. Okay, but no uh, persistent injury. Uh, no, no okay. persistent injury. So unfortunately, this is not a reaction, so it will not be canceled. If anybody, and I have to attack if I'm going to do anything with this round, because I surged. Yeah. So I have to attack with the zombie. Unless somebody else surges in. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, unless attacker is deaf, they lose all positive attribute tokens and star survival. Oh, wait. Yeah, I gained a, a survival and an insanity because I'm a abyssal status. So what's that about that. a deaf character? Because I have a deaf character. Unless attacker is deaf, they lose all positive attribute tokens and star survivals. Star survival. Okay, why don't I surge and dash to come in and take care of that? Okay. I have, so that would be my blue character, Call of Plus. Seven. Yep, I can do that with one. So that's a dash and a surge. Okay. 
Okay, I hit... After we have Song of the Brave, generally, Hurok. Yeah. So you hit on a 3+, plus. period. No benefits, no negatives. Yep, Always. and I have 4 dice. Wow. 3 hits. No trap. Okay. Um, I'm going to save the Sentry Carapace for last. Uh, let's see. Oh, so this is impervious, oh, though. Oh, yeah, that's a good point. What? Uh, who's moving the ball? Uh, we'll still have time to do that. I can still potentially move it, or your character here can, or we'll figure it out. I surged. I oh, can't. right, you can I could dash and push, but uh, I won't be attacking again, which yeah. has its negatives and positives. Okay. Wait, so remember, any, um, any reactions are canceled. Okay. Um, oh, total? Okay. Oh, wow. That means that we actually can't uh, do the, the century carapace. We can't, like, nothing happens. It just happens, gets this, yeah. Basically. Uh, no, because it's a reaction. No. Both of those are reactions. Oh, the reaction can't be canceled. Never mind. Yeah, you're right. Yes. Okay. Okay, so first up, um, so the first one is in a reaction. Yeah, that one um, has to happen, but it's impervious as and well. And he doesn't have separation anxiety, so it's in effect. Yeah. Okay. So I will uh, do that one first. Okay. Um, okay, so this character, I'm not familiar with what the strength and everything is. So I have five strength um, with a weapon with two, so that's seven. So I wound on a five plus. It's and, impervious, though. Oh, right. All you care but about so is good, did, did but, crit. Okay, so I wound on a five plus and I crit on an eight, nine, or ten. Okay. Okay, nothing. You have... who has momentum? Oh, that would be that character. Okay. So I do gain one momentum token. Thank you. No problem. Got more complicated. Yes. All right. Um... Oh, and I suffered knockback earlier. A four. Yeah, but so you I, got knocked down, didn't you? Doesn't matter. Oh, wait, I did get knocked down. Take down. Yeah, yeah so, so you only have one right now. Okay, cool. Um... Okay, so next spot. The failure is ignored. God damn it! Mm. I am That's the only one you could wound, actually, amusingly enough. I know! I ah, I swear, if he kills us with, with two wounds left, it's my fault. Yeah. <laughs> and a sentry carapace. Uh-huh. That is a failure. Okay. Um... Who's one survival? Okay. Wow. That was not what you call a great start. But yeah. I got rid of the card you worried about. Yeah. So now, I am going to attack with Armin. Okay. Uh, so, again, he hits on a 2 plus. That is a hit. With a 9. Oh, it's not a 2+, plus; it's a 3+, plus because he's not Yeah, dead. but still, good enough. And um, then I am going to... Wound on a 2+, plus, crit on 4+. Plus. Yes. And you still deal 2. Yes. Nice. Crit. There's a crit. With a sickening crunch, a hairline fracture shoots across the monster's thick chest. The attacker gains 1 survival and 1 insanity, so that's 2 survival and 2 insanity. Putting me to 10. I was capped on survival. The monster gains a negative one toughness token. Oh, that's nice. And he loses two more hit points. Yep. Okay. One toughness. The top card is going to be another century carapace. So, um, yeah, moving the ball is going to be a bit of an issue. Um, what's your movement? On your yellow character? My movement is nine. You can get around to it. No, I can't. I can't dash. I already dashed. Oh, you I already dashed dash. during the monster's turn. Okay. I can't. Okay, I've seen if you could make it around. No. So it's going to be up to me to knock it far enough. Great! Should we focus on getting... I'm not going to use my other attack yet with Kalifla. If we get him down far enough with our other two characters, I may just be able to kill him, and that would be the better option, is my view. Okay. Okay. 
So I will have Goku slam in. So and, that's a dash. Yep, and a surge. Okay. Okay. So I don't think, can she, like, what's the rules on pushing the ball? Can she push it, like, where, from where she is? Could she push oh, it? Oh, yeah, I could. So, yeah. Like, because it doesn't, does, it doesn't say in the direction, does it? Space is directly away from you. Okay, so that would have to be that way, unfortunately. Yeah, because of where I'm placed. Yeah. Um, yeah, I don't need to surge to push the ball. I okay. haven't done my basic move or action yet. Yeah. So it'll just be my basic move action to do it. Okay, so... Wow. Two hits. I think so. Let me double check. No, it's two hits. Oh, yeah, yeah. You're right. And both carapaces. And we've got a swarm of bot flies. Shit. Okay. Uh, taking my white dice. Um, so, what do I hit on? Or what do I wound on again? Anything but a one. Oh, sweet. What? Oh, up on the top. Uh huh. Uh, haven't missed any awful deaths yet. Oh, nice. Yeah, like, I hope you're enjoying it. Yeah, definitely. And I'm glad you stopped by and said hi. Uh, Midnight Demon Cat. I mm -hmm. like the name, too. Mm -hmm. That's a wound. Is it? Instead of plus wounding. Six, plus six toughness. Um, so oh, 11 shit. 11 plus, it's 17 toughness for this location. I thought he was 12. Oh, 11. So 17. Um, let me redo my math. Because I have a shit ton of strength. Mm. I have uh, 10 plus 3 plus 3. Shit, I'm one short. Are you hitting with a club? Yes. Look at the location. Game plus 2d10 strength when attempting. Location. 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 Oh. Oh. Okay, then I'm a guaranteed wound. Thanks, Midnight. Yes. <laughs> okay, so you wounded. So you archive the card and gain, gain a survival. survival. You do not gain the additional three survival. Yep. Okay, cool. But at least we got rid of the card. Yep. So I need to roll pretty much anything. Yep. And there's another one. Okay. And I gain another survival. And Swarm of Plot Flies is on the top. Okay. Um, I think I'm going to have to... Uh, oh, yeah, and you can't dash with that character. No. Damn it. Um, one, two, three. It has to go at least three spaces. So I have to roll a six or higher. Mm-hmm. It does suck. Yeah. I don't think there's any way for me... I can't run through a knockdown monster. Mm -mm. Okay, move me to the side. I'll try knocking it now. So you're going to move here? Actually, I don't need to move. No, it doesn't really matter. Oh, they'll move me away from him just in case, because if... Yeah. Okay. Come on. I need a good roll. Need a good roll. That's yep. not a good roll. So it's still technically along him. Yep. Shit. And, yeah. That's going to be a bad day. Potentially. Um, yeah, the thing is, is that now, when we start the next thing, we're going to dash, because we don't want to be ballering next to, when he's ballering. Oh, so we can all dash away. Okay. Yeah, because okay. we can dash as soon as... So he's going to target um, Saitama. Okay. Uh, because that's the furthest stinky survivor. Well, type, oh, right. Um, Saitama hasn't moved yet. This round. He started next to him and got knocked back because of me. Yes. So okay. you can still move up and attack right now. Okay. Uh, my courage is going to be... Three, so that's pretty good. Yep. So I move up and I attack with the bone axe, which is going to be four dice. And of course I hit on a three plus, like you do. Yep. That's, that's four hits. Dice. Good luck. Nope. Yeah. <laughs> Alright. So all survivors are doomed. Full move directly towards the attacker. Joke's on you, I'm already there. 
the monster is adjacent to the attacker, if it picks them up and leaps high into the air, the monster lands next to the resin dug ball and slams the attacker's side. Place the monster in any space adjacent to the ball. Uh, attacker suffers 5 damage to star hit locations, so please roll me a hit location. And gains the body. body. So this is Saitama, so he would have rolled on the body chart, but instead he drops the dread campus. Okay, that's not too bad. Uh, and then I gain the Smell World card. Which you move immediately onto, I believe. Yes. So, this is Saitama and Smell World. All right. So um, what does Smell World do? Yeah. When you gain this, remove your survivor from the board and place them on this card. At the start of your act, roll 1d10. On a result of 8 plus, you escape. Otherwise, gain one bleeding token. A survivor adjacent to the ball may spend activation. If they do select one survivor to escape, you will get the Dung Milk status card, which makes you permanently stinky. Not a big deal. During the fight. It also gives you some negatives, but... In any case, well, I'm no longer on the board, so that's good, right? So he's going to target Kalifla with the power forward. Which is what? Uh, for the stinky survivor. Ooh. He's going to target... They, we, we've already used all of our stuff. Yeah, Kalifla doesn't have the uh, dried acanthus. Yeah. Um, what does it do? Uh, move the ball 2d10 spaces through the target on collision. You suffer 5 damage to star hit locations. So the first thing we're going to do is remember that we regain our survival actions at the start of So this. I can dash away and maybe get far enough before the ball hits me. Possibly, yes. Okay. Otherwise, we will have to... Yeah. Um... Okay. Okay, uh, so we start the next round, and that happens. Uh, well, yeah, so he selects you as his target, because it's the start of the monster's turn. Okay. So now he's going to turn, now we have a survival action opportunity. He's going to perform baller, and we don't want to be hit by that fucking ball. Okay. So all of us are going to fucking dodge, or dash. Okay. Um, oh, because baller's going to spin around him. Yes. Okay. So Armin spends a survival to get out of the way. So does uh, Goku. And Kalifla does it to get far away. Yes. You want to get as far away as possible because that ball is coming to chase you down. Okay. So I can move seven. Yeah. Yep. Already running from him. Uh, three, four, five, six, seven. Or seven. That would be the furthest. Okay. That seems ideal. And yes, that means I probably can't attack him this turn. Oh, I mean, he's going to be moving to the ball, so... Oh, he does? Yeah. Oh. Then right. your character here and mine should probably dash differently. Okay. Um, so when I dash, I'm going th going to come out over here. Do you want to run around the same way? Sure. Seven or eight? Uh, eight. There you go. Now I roll for the ball. Uh, yes. Well, yeah, he ballers, and the ball moves to there because it stops... Oh, wait, it stops in front of him. Oh, it does? Yeah. Okay, that changes our math a little bit. Uh, or no, this will still go that way. Yeah. That's fine. We can still organize that. Oh, yeah. Okay, so 2d10. Five. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. All right. So then we take the next... Does he move to go next to the ball now? Uh, full move the monster toward the ball. Okay. So he goes there. So that's not too bad. Yeah. And you're still in the ball. So somebody yes. needs to rip you out. Okay, so now his thing. Um, he is next to the ball. So do not perform this card. Or wait, do I do the green X right now? No, that's separation anxiety. Oh, okay. He does not do that. If he's next to the ball. Okay, and we can't knock it away. No. Okay. Well, yeah, we could technically knock it away. No, no, not not at this point. Okay, for the stinky survivor, so that's going to be... Powerful. Hey, Gamer Darius! Oh, shit. What? Oh, fuck us. We're screwed. Why? Oh, wait, no. Thank God, we're fine. All right. Turn to face the target and perform baller. Okay. So that just whips around him and ends up in front of him. Yes. Um, 
move the ball 3D space, 3D 10 spaces through the target. Oh my god. Oh my god. At the end of the ball's movement, place any survivors the ball collided with knocked down as close to the ball. Oh, wow. Well, it's not like it really is any worse. Okay, 3D10. Let's hope I roll low. Yes. Roll super low. Holy shit. Yes, that is a bad time, Silver. Holy shit, this is a bad time. That's not low. Nope. Wham! And just place me next to it. Put me on the side nearest me. Uh, one more over. So I'm closer to Dung Beetle Knight. There we go. And suffer 10 damage to one location. So roll a good one. Something that I can uh, hopefully not take permanent easy death. Yeah. Arms. Arms is gonna be... I am tough. Yeah, so... So with tough, I get one to the result. Yes. Okay, roll. Three! Oh my god. <laughs> Gain two bleeding tokens. Holy shit! <laughs> Thank god for tough. Yes. That's all I'm gonna say. So usually he would have been knocked down, but the reason why we're not knocking him down here is because at the start of his turn, he's gonna stand back up. Thank you for that. Oh, Reminding. He's got a uh, separation anxiety. <laughs> for better or for worse. Yes. Okay, so I'm going to start by um, surging with cauliflower. I am ripping you out of the ball. Okay. So... He is escaped. Place next to the ball. I guess it will be over here. Um, and I gain the Dung Milk status card. Dung Milk is going to be... You are knocked down and suffer star damage to your body that ignores armor. So one damage uh, to the body. And uh, then I suffer a negative one accuracy and a negative one evasion. Okay. And you're knocked down? Um, yes. Okay. Uh, I will stand you up. Okay. With Goku. All right. So he stood up. Okay, cool. All right. So that was fun. Okay. Now just normal move me up next to the monster. That's... Oh, wait, yeah. Sentry carapace. It's a carapace? Yes. Okay, then Goku needs to handle this. So I had done a surge, so just still move me up next to the monster. Because, oh, wait, no, I haven't done my turn. I just did a surge. I'm all good. No, you encouraged with Goku. Because Cauliflower no, no, is the one that's Cauliflower surged. Surge, so I don't have to do any more for action yet. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, so Goku has seven movement. So four, five, six, seven. I'll go to there. And, oh, yeah, we have a shuffle, so I don't have to worry too much about the trap yet. Yep. That would be an one perfect hit, which means he gains negative one speed token until the end of the round, or until the end of the round. Yay. That I am not going to complain about. Nope. Um, and I get, uh, I think only three hits. Let me double check. I have four accuracy. I hit on a three plus. Nope, that's four hits. Okay. No trap. One century carapace. So, I only risk losing survival on the century, so I should probably do that first. Um, I always forget my. Oh, that's useful to know. Oh, that's. Won't help with this first one, damn it. Um, oh! When you, on a perfect hit, double your wound attempt total on the first selected hit location. Okay. So I don't want to hit that first. Um, don't hit the entering parry because it's parry. You have to crit. Oh. So you want to do filthy wings, I think. Um, but if Unfortunately, I. Unfortunately, you cannot get the elytra because we've already gotten it. Oh, that's fine. I'd be fine with breaking his wings. Okay, so I will start with the filthy wings. 
So I doubled my wound attempt total. So whatever I roll gets doubled. Okay. Um, and if I success, if my successful wound attempt total is greater than or equal to twice the monster's toughness, I deal an extra wound. Okay. So you got to reach twenty-two. I have to reach twenty-two. So I've got base of thirteen strength. Okay. <laughs> I like this. Mm -hmm. Oh, fucking! Yeah, you fail. Son of a... God damn it! All the, so it's turn to face. All survivors in blind spots suffer knockback 7. Away from attacker. You suffer knockback 7. Oh. Which means all the rest of the hits are cancelled. God damn it! That's twice now I've blown that. Mm-hmm. <laughs> okay, how's the next one look? Um it's fine. It's okay. not gonna be any problem. Let's give this another go. Okay. Because <sighs> this is going so well for me. Mm-hmm. Okay. Wow. Stop hitting him from the blind spot. He turned me into yeah, the blind spot. Yeah, like, it doesn't matter. Does he gain additional for that? Oh, wow. It, oh, it can only be days once per round. Yes. No trap. Okay. Um. But... I do have the perfect hit thing going again. So, on the first selected hit location, if you hit with a club or shield, the monster suffers negative four toughness and cancels all reactions until the end of no. the attack. Stop. What? Shit. Goku can't dash. Why? Um, because he dashed during the uh the thing. Oh shit. Yeah, you can't dash. None of that happened. Okay. I don't know what order that was in. I'll just shuffle them up. Yeah. Oh, shit. Gah. Good catch. Okay. Okay. Um, flip the top one. Hidden mandibles. It is a persistent injury. Then we should hit with the axe. Attackers with two spaces and it will consume. Wow. Okay. Sure. Uh, oh, which is it? Broken mouth. Yeah. <gasps> That's the best one to get. Three, four, two, three, four, five, six. That is five. Uh, do you want to be between the ball and him? That is a good point. <laughs> Can you move eight? Yes. Go one more. <laughs> yes, you don't want to be between the Dung Beetle Knight and his ball. That's a bad day. Yeah, he's very particular about his ball. Alright, so I hit on a... Unfortunately, I just hit on a 6+. plus. What? Yeah, because my accuracy is down. Ah. Well, that's still three hits. Yes. Oh shit. What? The iridescent abdomen has a separation anxiety, which is probably going to run cauliflower over. Ooh, I can still dash out of the way. Uh, no, you dashed during his turn. Oh, right. Good catch. Good catch. Or, oh yeah, yeah. All right. Well, first try to crit that location. Yeah. So I will attack his hidden mandibles. Okay. So I wound on a, um, that's, I have six strength, the bone axe has three, he has a negative one toughness, so two I plus. wound on a two plus. Um, all right, and crit doesn't matter for this location. Oh, yeah. Oh, come on. No. When oh, attacking right. with an axe, if your wound attempt fails, you may ignore it and attempt to wound the selected hit location again. Oh, uh, and that's a crit. Yes. Persistent injury. 
The attack ruins the precise mandibles inside the monster's face. If the attacker is within two spaces of the monster and able to consume, they may spend two survival to nimbly eat a gob of resin spit, gaining plus one permanent evasion. Yes. Yes. Yes, that's the thing. That drops me down to four survival. Increase your evasion. And my evasion goes up to five. And my permanent evasion is now five. Very nice. Then shouldn't your total evasion be six? No, because I have a negative one. Oh, right, yeah. Evasion from the dung milk. All right, and because that was an axe, I deal two wounds. Oh, two wounds. So he is down to one, four. two, three, four, five, six. I have done every single wound on him. Yes. <laughs> yes, you have. All right, so that stays in play. Yep. That counters one of his nastiest advance cards. It'll actually, as a matter of fact, if we draw that advance card, he takes a wound instead. Wow. Mm. So, I think... <laughs> Family jewel, thanks. Yeah, I really hope we can do this. So, this is harder. <laughs> if I fail, I will take a survival loss. But this is ground pound. But is it too tense, math? math. Bad uh, Old World of Warcraft reference. Okay. Yeah, yeah, pretty much. Uh, only in this game, there's a there's a lot of things that you could clearly say, uh, Glyph Keeper, that are only in this game. <laughs> okay. People talking off about talking about biting off a, a white lion's ding dong. That's one of the many things you can uh, only say happens in this game. So I can either try to wound the Century Carapace, but honestly my chances aren't great because I need a 17 and I have a 9. And wound just gets rid of it. Yeah. Yeah, I would go for the other one. Okay. What does it do? I'm not going to be able to do anything because okay. it's going to immediately separation anxiety and ground pound. Oh, which will knock you back. Uh, no. It's going to bash me. Ah. So, ground pound. The monster slams the ground precisely, altering its network of prepared tunnels. All survivors adjacent to the monster suffer bash. Okay. So, so and then I will stand bash. you up. So you can surge to attack again. Let's finish the action okay. first. So knock me down. Um, and then the vibrations create a natural ramp. Move the ball 1d10 towards the monster. Ah, so that's where it goes through me. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. So it eight, stays away. Seven. Okay. So it's not next to him. Uh, and then we cancel the reaction on the hit location. Okay. What happens to me? Uh, you take. Collision. Yeah. Five damage to star hit location. Oh, shit. Yeah. I mean, but there's nothing we can do about it. Yep. Oh. Body. And I still get my plus one. Yeah. At least I have that going for me. Yep. Six. Disemboweled. Your movement is reduced to one until the showdown ends. Gain one bleed token. And I'm knocked down again, by the way. Yeah, skip the next hunt. Or wait, no, I'm not knocked down. No. Um, uh, wait, oh, you've already taken body yeah. damage? Yeah. Oh, okay. So what is this called again? Disemboweled. It's not permanent. Okay, and so... Your movement is reduced to one until the showdown ends. Okay. And gain one bleed token. Oh, that's not too bad. Yeah. And then you have to skip the next hunt. Okay, then. If nobody else survives the showdown, I'm dead. Like, you're dead. Okay. Um, since I can only do the one and stuff, I'm going to move one and bandage myself. Okay. Where are you going to move to? Uh, just move me forward one. Okay. And that'll remove... Uh, I'm down to one bleed token, then. Okay. Right. Now, uh, Cauliflower will stand you up. Okay. So that you can uh, give it another go. Yes, our naked survivors are doing <laughs> awesome. <laughs> I search. So, as I said, I hit on a six plus. So, one hit. Fine. We'll take it. 
All right. Uh, this is not a persistent injury, so I actually have to pay attention. Um, <laughs> I crit on a seven plus. I know, I heroic. Wound on a uh, two plus. Anytime the lion's ding dong comes out, we crit. It like never fails. So I wounded. Okay, that's only one wound, right? Yes, because I did not crit. So unfortunately, wounds did not come in twos this case. Yes. And that is that. So the next location is going to be the iridescent arm. The monster stumbles backwards. It suffers knockback three directly away from the attacker and performs ground pound. Hmm. So. That's not too bad. Ground pound. Is only adjacent. Well, it only bashes adjacent, but the problem is figuring out how exactly you want to do this. So adjacent. So um, I can't dash. But what I can do is, so Armin is going to move to here. But won't that knock him into the ball? That's fine. We don't want him next to the ball, I thought. He's going to be next to the ball when he finishes ground pound. So. Oh, okay. Like, if he ground pounds and he's next to the ball, like, it's going to just the... move on. Like, it'll push him here, and then the ball will not move. Yes, the problem as I see it is then it'll cycle around him and still hit both of us. That's uh, the... if it falls. No, but at the start of next turn, he's probably going to ball her. Well, yeah, but what else are we going to do? If you go here, you knock him back three, the ball comes up to him, we're safe from baller. Okay, that's reasonable. Okay. Right. So Armin is going to attack him with the Zambato. Um, this is going to be... <laughs> Thanks for that, Maeve. I hit on a two plus. <laughs> A lot of our viewers are having fun with the line ding dong. Yes. I missed. Okay. Um, however, I am going to search. Ah. Good call. I nice. Hit. So, iridescent arm. Uh, I wound on a. 2 plus, and I crit on a 4 plus. And the 2 plus is accounting for the negative 1 toughness? Oh, it doesn't matter. <laughs> yeah, no. It doesn't matter. <laughs> yeah, that's, never mind that. That was dumb. Oh, wound. Wounded. Monster stumbles backwards. Knock back 3. And then he performs ground pound. And 2 wounds. Oh, 2 wounds? Yeah, because it's the Zambato. Oh, right. So he's down to 1 AI. Yes. Wait, why are you shuffling then? Because it was in the AI discard pile. Like, the only cards were in the AI discard pile, so oh. I have to pick which one he's going to keep. Oh, okay. Um, so there's that. Unfortunately, I can't surge again, and I couldn't dash anyways. Yep. Um, and now ground pounds. So monster slams the ground. All survivors adjacent the monster suffer bash. Doesn't matter. Vibrations create a natural ramp. Roll 1d10. Uh, so unfortunately, right there, it does end up next to him. Okay. <sighs> all right. So that is all that we can do this turn, I think. I do believe you're correct. Oh wait, no. I can surge with Goku. I have bone darts. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh God! Talk about. Are I you just sure know that you want to though. What's on top? Uh. The monster will suffer knockback three directly away from the attacker, which so, would put him outside the ball's range. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That sounds good to me. Yeah. Yeah. It so might for, be worth the risk. Yeah. So for those interested, I'll show this quick. Um, this is uh, Goku's chart. So I happen to take bone darts just to get the red hook up for an extra strength from Monster Tooth Necklace. That's the only reason why I took it. Wow. <laughs> but it's always good to have a ranged weapon. Yeah. Now. Well, that's part of the reason why as well. I always like to have a character with a range. It just so happened that when you knocked him back, it moved him within six of Goku. Yeah. 
So I get actually three attack with this because I have two speed. Mm -hmm. And I will hit on a three plus. Okay. Two hits, one of them's a perfect hit. Oh, wait, I rolled a bunch of perfect hits I forgot to record. Uh, four of them. So five, so up to 39. Perfect hit does nothing for this one, though. Okay. So I can possibly do one wound, reducing him down to just his... Uh... Basic action. Yep. Okay, so... Um... Yeah, this doesn't do ground pound. The iridescent breastplate does not do ground pound. So if we knock him three, then he actually will not be next to the ball. Yes, which would be nice. Okay, so what do I need with this? That's the problem. It's I, a little bit of a pain, isn't it? What? To wound him? No. I have ten native strength. Oh, okay. <laughs> and the bone darts adds three. Okay. So anything but a one. But this is Goku. He's rolled... Two ones in a row. He's got to make it interesting, right? I'm going to change the die. Okay. Son of a bitch! <laughs> I can't help but laugh at that one. Okay, then. <laughs> You're required to try to wound the century carcass. I don't even know the odds on that happening, but I think it's really low. <laughs> wow! Oh. <laughs> so, failure. You lose hope, lose one survival. I, I really am losing hope a little bit right now. <laughs> Just a smidge. If, if Goku had just hit in general, okay, he'd be dead. So what we're going to do uh -huh. is it's the start of his turn. Uh -huh. So the monster controller moves. <laughs> so he targets the furthest stinky survivor, I which think is going to be Kalifa. So he starts. <laughs> Thanks, Maeve. Thanks. So he turns to face the target. Technically, he's already facing the target. And performs baller. And then we move the ball to D10. <laughs> Going after Kalifa again. Yes. Um, wait. The only thing that we could do, we could try to dash and, and surge. surge. But if we try that and we fail, we're going to take baller to the face. Yes, but we have three characters that can do it. Yes. And we only need two wounds. Yes. Do it. The biggest risk is the trap, but do it with one of the characters that deals two wounds. Yeah. Well, Sarden <laughs> goes in. He only has one hit, right? Yeah. Good. So he hits on a surplus. That's a hit. That is the iridescent bath. All I know is I'm not rolling with Goku on this one if we can avoid it. <laughs> Dash and search to do that, so. He is not the hero of this fight. No. I think this is the fight where like he gets sent down to hell to a train <laughs> yeah. before coming back. <laughs> Alright, so Wow. Oh, one in ten thousand. Congratulations. Thanks, Cliff Keeper. Two plus. <laughs> I just Oh yeah, odds for I crit. It doesn't really matter if your settlement has invaded pottery, blah, blah, blah. But I've he's dead. Tokens, but he's dead. And that's the key. <laughs> the last one was Smash Shot. Wow. Wow, that was um special. 
that was definitely, shall we say, a memorable fight. <laughs> yeah, it's actually, you know, tough saved your ass, man. <laughs> yes, it did. So, our main game pack, a survival and an insanity. This will say this. Wow. <laughs> he feeds on your shit rolls. Jesus, man. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> if I'm gonna do a shitty fight, I might as well go all in. Yes. <laughs> so, uh, we do get some interesting stuff. First, uh, any resources we got dropped during the fight? Uh, yes, we got an Elytra. Uh, and a fresh campus, technically, but hold on. Okay. First, one Hunt XP. Okay, I do age with Goku, which, honestly speaking, he does not deserve that. No. <laughs> okay, so we have now aged on my two characters, so you <coughs> age on Goku? Yep, third age. Third age. It is the third age. Yes. Wow. Okay, roll 2d10. 12. Gain one random fighting art. And that's another 10. Uh, just a rando? Yep. Oh, shit. Sorry, man. Sucks to be you. Yeah, pretty much. Uh, I need any fighting arts you have. There you go. Thank you. Yep. Uh, I'm probably going to ditch strategist at this point. Mm -hmm. I don't want to lose blotted out because we really need that. It's really useful if we have a... I don't think blotted out is actually... Oh, yeah, it is useful yep. to fight with them. Okay. And I need burning ambition, otherwise secretive fucks me over. Yeah. <laughs> Which one are you laughing at? Good lord, man, grab these dice and put them in holy water. <laughs> like, burn your dice, your misfortune already affected them, you need your <laughs> dice. Yes. Yeah, he does feed on our shit rolls. Yes, he does. Okay. Uh, do we, we get to draw three hit location, or fighting arts, right? Yes. Yeah, so at least I get a pick. Yes. Okay, so let's see what I get. I get... Monster Claw Style, Defender, and Heroic. What's Heroic? Once per showdown, if you are standing adjacent to the monster of 3 plus survival, you may spend all of your survival for one automatic hit that inflicts a critical wound. That sounds really good to me. Whoa. Whoa. That is so powerful. Wow. Yeah, yep, yeah, that that's that's a win. At first I saw Monster Claw I'm like, just in tooth character. That seems good. And then I see heroic. Nope. Yeah. Okay. So So now, wait, once again, Goku totally did not fucking earn the tight or earn the fighting art heroic. No, but it is kind <laughs> of appropriate for Goku, honestly. Yeah. I mean like that's like for literally Goku's fighting art. Yes. Okay. <laughs> the group investigates the large resin dung ball and a network of tunnels beneath the battleground. Inside the ball, they find a caustic but mineral-rich substance. Rolling aside the ball, they find passageways leading deeper underground. After collecting rewards, spelunking of death. The group regains the following rewards. Six basic, four dung beetle knight resources, and two caustic preser preserved dung strange resources. Okay. Oh... <laughs> Mate. Oh yeah, we had victory Toa. Savage is really nice, but the thing is, like there's that there's always those cases where you just want that one thing. Savage is the one D ten, right? Uh no, Savage is you inflict a second wound if you crit. Yeah, I don't crit very often with Goku. He's yeah. only got one luck. I like that Goku spent the entire fight charging up. Yeah, that was a <laughs> crazy fucking battle. F O D. Hmm? I have no... My yeah. god, probably, was the Oh, attack. oh, yes. <laughs> okay. Okay, so six basics? Yes. That's so nice. Organ! Yay. Organ! Hide! Organ! We Can actually I... need organs. I know we do. It's just I'm finding it funny. Love juice. Oh, sweet. Yes. Okay. Dung Beetle Knight resources. Scarab Shell. Century Shell. Oh, Savage is only once per attack. Beetle Horn. 
Ooh, that's nice. And century fingernails. Variety. Very good. Yeah. Variety is always good when you're trying to make armor. Okay, and then we get the two caustic preserved dung resources. Okay, let me find those. Um, man, surprise new today. So, not safe for camera. Nope. Preserved caustic dung? Yes. Found one. We don't get the DBK patch, unfortunately. What's that? Uh, it is. You have to craft it for the DBK. It's an item. It's uh, remember the Lion Knight badge and the Flower Knight badge. You just get them automatically. Uh, living cultures in this exotic mixture of matured dung that have been preserved with a delicate airtight jelly casing. Okay, that's the thing. All right, so. Uh, yeah, we'd like to stay on Twitch. <laughs> Spelunking of Death. The group investigates the monster's network of tunnels and are inspired by the rich vegetation. If your settlement does not already have it, gain the subterranean agriculture innovation. I'm pretty certain we don't have that. Mm -hmm. Okay, subterranean agriculture. It allows us to build the wet resin crafter. Okay. So we don't automatically get that. We have to build it. Yes. Which we can build, most likely. Yes. Good. Maybe, if we have a bone in town. Um, <clears throat> we have bones. If you bl black harvest is not shown on the timeline, add underground sow to the uh, event. You can do the underground sow. Oh. If black harvest is on the timeline, you may spend one preserved caustic dung to increase its rank by one to a maximum rank of three. Limit once per settlement. Okay. Sweet. All right. Nominate up to four victorious survivors from the last showdown to be spelunkers. One at a time, each spelunker will roll 1d10 on the table below. Note there is a 10% chance of dying. Okay. However, I was intending to bring Saitama in for this. Okay. He is our axe master, and it would really suck if we roll a ten, a, a one. But he has a bone pickaxe, and we have a chance of getting a skull. Okay. And he cannot fail the trial of valor. So it's only a one in ten chance of badness. Yeah. I'm not rolling, so it's much, much greater. <sighs> Beneath a passage of bones, you find a secret entrance and are compelled to attempt the trial of valor. Trial of Valor. This we can show. Oh, that's nice. Roll 1d10, adding half your courage rounded up. I have three courage, so I add two. <gasps> Twelve. Shit. Uh, that's not good. Why? You have passed and may attempt the Trial of Wits. Which we don't want to do. No, because you have a 70% chance of death. Okay. So I was hoping for a 3 to a 9. 3 to 7 gain a courage, 8 through 9 gain a permanent strength. Ah, uh, okay. Oh well, so yeah. we say no. So, whatever. We get nothing? Yeah. We do not do that. Uh, right. So, uh, that is the end of the thing. We have not innovated storytelling, I think. No, we did not innovate storytelling. Okay. Because the first time the settlement defeats the Dung Beetle Knight after they innovated storytelling adds secret meeting to the timeline two years from now. So Alrighty. That that. All survivors can roll, but it's a 1 in chan 10 chance of death. Yes. So I don't think it's worth it. Not for these survivors. Yeah. Okay. Uh, there's the mouse. Uh, so thank you very much. We are going to stop the video for now. and We'll be right back with our settlement phase.